What's up comic creators? I'm going to show you real quick how to add a video or a photos over your video footage within iMovie. It's essentially called an overlay and we're going to do that and it's very quick, very easy. So let's get started here. So the first thing you're going to do is click on the photo you want and drag it over the part of the video that you want to add it to. Uh, and as you can see, automatically what it does is it adds this kind of like full screen zoom in option. This is called the Ken Burns effect. So if you wanted to edit this or change this, you can go up to the top here and click on these little boxes and that shows you immediately what your Ken Burns is doing. So Ken Burns is it's like zooming or moving across the screen as you're talking. Now, if you like that, you can adjust it. It has a start and then an end. You can move it down. And if that's what you wanted, so as you're talking, you have this kind of full screen image that's kind of moving, keeps the audience engaged. You click the little check mark there and then you can see as you're talking, it's moving as you're going. Now, if you didn't want that and you just wanted it to be still, you can click fit and then that'll fit it to the screen to where it's not moving while you're talking at all. If you click on the box here in the top menu corner on the left hand side, you have this little drop down that pops up and it's set to um, like a full screen cutaway, but you can click like split screen, which splits it, um, and or you can click on the drop down picture in picture, which adds it as like a box over your video footage and you can move it around. You see this done a lot in a lot of videos. Um, you can select where you want it, you can adjust the size, um, and then also there's a couple of other things you can do, like it has a dissolve automatically on it right there, so when you watch it play it kind of dissolves into the image like that. If you didn't want it to dissolve and you want it to kind of pop like most YouTube videos, you click on that little timer there and you just click zero, and then now that'll just kind of pop in as it plays. Boop. Uh, so really good stuff. Um, and then another thing you can do is edit it. You can cut it down by dragging the edges. So now it just kind of pops in and then pops out as I'm talking there. You can also do this with video clips as well. You can actually add video clips as overlays over other uh, video parts or other video clips within your, your iMovie project. So, you know, you'll see this done on like commentary channels. If they're talking about movies or something, they'll play like B-roll footage as they're talking. You can do the same thing here. So I just dragged uh, one of my other video clips on top of this one. So now as I'm talking, it's playing this video clip. Same bit, basic principle here. You can change it from a cutaway to a, a picture in picture, which gives it like a little box in there if you just wanted to play it like that. And then it, you know, you adjust the dissolve if you don't want it to dissolve in. And now you've got it playing as I'm talking. Real easy stuff. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with it and get really creative. Guys, I hope this video helped you. I hope you found it resourceful. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the algorithm. I really appreciate you guys doing that. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And yeah, I will see you guys later.